What do you think is the definition of humanity? Being a human being is something, but being humane is a totally different story. When you see a helpless creature and you run to rescue it from a dangerous situation, this makes you a humane person. But having no sympathy towards animals and ignoring the fact that they have feelings makes you nothing but a selfish person devoid of humanity. Today's story is really heartbreaking for all animal lovers. However, we are raising your awareness and drawing your attention to stray or abandoned animals that need your help. Take a look with us at some viral photos captured dog's emotional moment on side of road. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to Did You Know and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. A man named Paul Skinner was out cycling with one of his friends in Midville, Lincolnshire, England. While they were immersed in their conversation while riding their bikes, they came across a little spaniel doggy which was on the road. The dog seemed to be sobbing and its eyes looked watery. It was sitting next to a plastic bag and looked as if it was aching severely. Of course, Paul and his friend felt anxious and wondered what was in the plastic bag that made the dog look so sad. When they approached and looked in the bag, they were shocked and heartbroken. Paul Skinner worked as a counselor at Boston Borough Council. He said that when they first came across the dog, they thought that it was a dead bird behind a plastic bag. Then, when they looked again, they realized it was a spaniel dog without its collar and it looked like it had been abandoned. However, Paul and his friends investigated the area in case there was someone who got stuck in a problem and needed help. When they found nothing, they drew their attention to the plastic bag and peeked inside it since the dog was licking the bag so they thought there might be fish and chips. At first, while they were cycling, they thought there was a dead bird, but when they looked inside, they figured out that there were four dead puppies. How heartbreaking and very sad. The mother dog was crying and sticking around her poor dead pups. Paul could not imagine how someone could not have any emotions or humanity to do something as horrible and evil. He tried to take the mother dog away from the dead pups, but she did not move. Then Paul called instantly the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, RSPCA. The cops and a local greyhound sanctuary to rescue the poor melancholic dog that was sobbing for losing her pups. When the dog was rescued and examined, the vets explained that she was three years old and was thankfully in good health. They even called her Carly. Mick Fern, who was the manager at Ben Bank Greyhound Sanctuary, tried to revive the puppies, but it was too late. He mentioned that sometimes dogs played dead and they could make you believe they were, but when placed in a warm place and fed, they would show signs that they were alive. However, it did not work out with the puppies. He also also pointed out the fact that the puppies might have been alive when they were found abandoned on the road with their mother, but being out in the cold was what must have killed them. No one really knew how the puppies died or if someone killed them. No one also knew who dumped the dog and the puppies, but that was really cruel and a very sad scene indeed. Anyway, Paul is such an amazing person who stopped to see what was wrong with the poor dog and he helped by notifying the cops and animal rescuers to save the dog's life. People like Paul and Mick Fern are the ones who truly proved that there is still some good in this world among all the brutality and the violence that exhibited our world nowadays. A lesson you have to learn is to sympathize with animals and stop terrorizing them. Animals have feelings just like us human beings and they get hurt too. It's such a pity that some people could easily let go of their domestic animals and ignore the fact that their pets might die from sadness and abandonment. Think carefully before petting an animal because they deserve to be loved, sheltered, and kept secure. They trust you so do not be emotionless and have some pity on the helpless creatures. What would you do if you came across an abandoned dog that needs your help? What do you think of the people who dumped that poor dog? How do you advise people to take care of their pets? Thanks for watching.